Hi everybody, and we are here for day four of our Animal Crossing playthrough. Now I did log on this morning and I bought some turnips before Daisy left at 12pm. So I bought 1,000 turnips. I did spend almost all of my money, but hopefully it will pay off during the week. So with turnips, you buy them on a Sunday between 5am and 12pm, and you only have until 5am the following Sunday to sell them. If you go past 5am on Sunday the next week, your turnips will spoil. Also, if you do time travel in this game, if you go backwards even about 30 seconds, your turnips will also spoil then. For those who don't know what time traveling is, because the game runs on real time, if you go into your settings on your Switch and change the time, it will also change the time in the game. So just be wary of that if you've got turnips. I do not recommend time traveling at all. Now also earlier when we logged in, Tom mentioned that our first villager has moved in. So Barold is here and I did stop at his house and say a quick hello to him as well. And our museum is open so we can go and see Blathers today and give him all of our donations. And I also noticed earlier that our villagers now have houses of their own. So you will see in the windows that their curtains are open. That means that they are currently inside their houses. If they are closed, they are wandering around the island somewhere. So I am going to go in and say a quick hello. Now with your villagers, you should also check on them every morning, afternoon and evening. You will always find at least one of your villagers crafting during those times of the day. And they will give you the DIY for whatever item they are crafting, even if you already have it. So that way you've got a spare. You can either sell it at Nooks for 200 bells or you can trade it with somebody else or just give it away. Also, if they are crafting an item that is particularly popular in the game, you can invite other players to come to your island and they can go and get the DIY off them as well. So I'm just going to go in and say a quick hello to Boots. I think this is where Boots live. I can't remember. So this is Boots' house, however this is not his real house. This is what we call a starter home. The two villages that you have at the start of the game will only have very basic houses. 
They may add a few more pieces of furniture, but not much. You can give them furniture to decorate their house with. However, they will not replace the items they already have. They will simply add it to their home. And they will not use any flooring or wallpaper that you give them. So yeah, it's pretty boring. I think Nintendo do this so that your starter villagers have, you know, a very boring house and they're not better than yours for some reason. I don't really know. So I have found that the sisterly villagers houses generally upgrade a little bit more than the jock villager houses. So over the next week or so we will probably see some more furniture being added to this house. Um, and sometimes I have noticed they do change the wallpaper themselves. However, like I said, we cannot give them wallpaper to put up because we can give it to them, but they won't use it. So last night after I stopped recording, I actually got to go to somebody else's island who was having a clear out of their storage. And they were letting, letting people come in and just take things for free. So I did get a few items. I got a desk, got some wallpaper few bits and pieces of kitchen items and I did get a heap of cardboard boxes now the reason why I grabbed these was because when you stand over them it simply says cardboard box there are other items in the game that are cardboard boxes however they are fruit boxes they have all the different types of fruit on them so I grabbed a heap in the hope that they would be fruit boxes unfortunately they're all just plain brown cardboard boxes uh, but that's okay, they will get used. So this is Mabel. So what we do with Mabel is she will visit your island a couple of times here in the plaza selling a small range of clothing and possibly footwear as well. You need to spend at least 5,000 bells over the course of two visits and then on her third visit she will ask you to lay down a plot for her and she will build her shop. So we're just going to have a look now and see what she's got today. I usually try to buy just about everything she has. So she will be here until 10 o'clock tonight. I think she usually visits on Sundays and possibly Tuesdays, so hopefully we will see her again soon. I might, however, oh, I forgot to learn that one. Might just have a look and see what this hat looks like. It kind of works, I think I might keep that. I've also just got a few things here that I want to go sell. I did sell a few items through the drop-off box last night simply to earn a few miles. However, you do get 20% less for your items when you sell them that way. So I just thought I'd leave everything out here and wait until this morning to sell them. So last night when I logged on to go around and shake and hit all of the trees, I also did just a tiny little bit of decorating. I just made a few things and popped them around. Oh, there was a bug on that flower. Oh. I did chop down a few trees because there were quite a few trees around here that were getting in the way. And on the other side, I went to all of the upper levels and got all of the weeds and I also made a flower breeding area over here 
So we won't have to water any of these today because it was raining this morning. So I've just got all of these set up here. So we can make orange and pink roses and purple roses. Once these yellow cosmos bloom, we might be able to make some orange and some pink ones. And with the mums, so I've got these ones here are white mums. When you breed white mums together, you can sometimes make purple ones. Obviously, when you breed the red and white ones together, you make pink. And when you breed the yellow and red ones together, they make a hybrid yellow. And when you've got more than one hybrid yellow, you can breed them to make purple and I think possibly green ones from them as well. Or I think you might have to breed purple ones together to make green. I can't remember. The green ones are quite difficult. So I cleared all of this area here. So I've got a few cherry trees and over here I've got my orange trees growing. And I wanted to leave this area clear so that I could plant more fruit when I got it. So with the fruit trees, as I said, you do need two spaces either side for them to grow. However, once they have grown, you can place them one space apart. So actually last night when I was going around shaking the trees, for some reason Harvey spawned on my island. So Harvey is a dog who has his own island and you can go there and what happens is you use his house as a photo studio. And you can spawn your villagers there and set up the house to make it, you know, look all fancy and pretty and take their photo. And then once you have had a villager there, the next day you can actually order their poster from your Nook shopping. Otherwise, Harvey's pretty useless. He doesn't really do anything else in the game. Last year in June, we got to use his island for a wedding event where you got to collect wedding furniture. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing it again this year, so we'll just have to wait and see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one sea creature to take in with me because he is going to say that oh, there are sea creatures and if you happen to come across one, please let me know. Once I give him that sea creature, he is then going to tell me that we can donate them. So then I will be able to get the other ones for him as well. Okay, so this is weird. I'm thinking that maybe because I haven't given him any donations of fossils yet, he's still taking them one at a time. I'm not really sure why he's doing this. Okay, so this 
It must have been because I hadn't given him any fossils yet as to why I was only able to donate one thing at a time. However, we are now good to go. So, I think that might be it for today. I'm going to go around now and shake all of my trees and chop for wood and hit my rocks for building materials. Otherwise, there isn't really much to do over the next few days. We just need to wait for our villagers to move in. And once that happens, we will have some more jobs for Tom Nook to do. So, yeah, that's it for me for now. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.